Hey YouTube, let's take a look at one of the lawnmowers I got yesterday for free. See if we can get it running and see why the back wheels are kind of locked up. Stay tuned. So yesterday I squirted off camera, I squirted a little carb cleaner in the carburetor and it fired up. So I think the engine's probably okay. So today I'm going to take a look at the transmission. And the left back tire here seems to be binding up. It looks like there's a cover on the back held on by at least five 3 8 inch bolts. So I'm going to take those off and take a look inside. So I've removed the little hubcap there on the wheel. You can hear it, it's turning the, the gear to the gearbox. There is the other tire. It spins freely. So I'm going to take off this nut and see if I can see anything that's dirty or needing to be lubricated. So, after putting on a little WD-40 on the axle, we finally got that stuck tire off. And I think there's just rust and dirt on there and it's catching, so I'm going to try to clean all that up. But let me show you something kind of cool. I removed most of the many bolts that hold this side plate on. Let me show you what I discovered. So here I have a screwdriver jammed in that plate. And I don't know if it will show. I'll try to shine a flashlight on it. this thing is chain drive. Can you see the chain inside there? It just blows my mind how well built this old mower is. I guess it shouldn't blow my mind. I'll show you this too, you don't see this anymore. Made in USA. So that's how we did it back in the day folks. Okay, we got both back wheels back on and lubricated. They both turn now. That's always good. Now let's look at this engine. And now I'm going to take off the air filter cover. I'll show you what's behind door number one. I already know. We have a looks brand new air filter and on the back side of the air filter cover it looks like a brand new pre-filter. So that's a plus. I'm gonna take a look at this carburetor now. And I'm also gonna take off the cover. And I took off the decorative cover and look what I found underneath. The recoil underneath is that same pretty red color. I've never seen that before. So let's get this air filter housing off. It's got three bolts. They're 5 16 And we also have to disconnect the throttle screw that holds the throttle cable. It's also 5 16 and the air filter housing is off. There's our pretty carburetor, let's get that off. It's held on by two bolts, they're three-eighths, and that fuel line's pretty hard. We'll take a closer look at that. 
one bolt out. And the other one's out. And there's our carburetor. I highly suspect this has been replaced because the throttle lever up here is plastic. On the old ones, it was metal. So let's pop open this bowl and see what's inside. Oh my, that's that's not a good sign. See all the grime on the jet there? I'm sure that's plugged up. It doesn't smell very good either. Oh, that's lovely. That looks like maple syrup. Doesn't smell like it either. Well, the needle, the the needle inside there is moving up and down. I don't know if I can get the pin out. I got it out. That, my friends, is a nasty carburetor. But I have a brand new one. Let's try it instead. And I put a little bit of gas in the tank and let it run through that line. After I did that, well, it'll clean the tank out. But I think I'm going to put on a more flexible, newer spare fuel line. And here is our brand new aftermarket carburetor. I've had pretty good luck with these. Connect the linkage and the fuel line. And we'll bolt it in. I got that one started. I'll tighten it down. And the carburetor is back on. Slide back on the fuel clamp. And now we'll put back on the air filter housing. Again, three little bolts, five sixteenths. One there, two there. We'll get that on. Okay, our air, air filter box is back on. I reconnected the throttle cable. I'll put back on our brand new air filter. I'll tighten that down and we'll put the decorative cover back on. And let's take a look at this spark plug. J19LM, at least it's the right one. That ought to be good enough for testing. I'm going to put it right back in. We're about ready to give this a start. And here we are, all back together. Let's give it a start. Way too fast. Take two. Well, 
that sounds better. Let's go mow. I think we brought her back to life. We'll give it a tune up in another video. Thanks for watching.